Welcome, baby child, to the first ever Respected or Rejected. Where I give you a topic and I tell you if I respect it or reject it, and y'all do the same down in the comments. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aston Shanae. Welcome back to The Juice. So, child, listen to this. DJ Envy straight up admitted to blackballing Nicki Minaj's music from their radio station because she got into an argument with, get this, DJ Self. Now, this happened way last year, and Self was upset because Nicki wouldn't do a drop for him. But what in the world does that have to do with DJ Envy? What does one have to do with the other? And, child, even more importantly, why would you admit to doing it on live radio? Child, let me clutch some common sense and gather myself. Now I gotta ask, with the issue of DJ Envy blackballing Nicki's music from the radio station because he didn't like what she said to DJ Self, do y'all respect it or do y'all reject it? And as for me, I'm going to have to reject it. Again, what in the world does DJ Envy have to do with whatever went on between Nicki and DJ Self? Somebody help me understand that. Child, now I'm sure by now you have all seen the pictures of Bow Wow's scratched up face in the slammer. This happened because he got into a situation with his little girlfriend and she scratched his face up. But when the police arrived, they took both of them. And that's how the picture of his scratched up face got plastered all over social media. A shame and a scandal, child. A shame and a scandal. Who in the world gets into it like that at an event? Obviously, he wasn't fighting her back, so why would she go so far as to scratch his face up like that? Now, child, was she trying to prove a point because he's a celebrity? Child, I don't know, but with the issue of Bow Wow not laying hands on his girlfriend that was tagging him at the time, I want y'all to tell me, do y'all respect it or do y'all reject it? Now, child, me, myself, and I, I'm going to have to say that I respect it. Now, to the men that watch me, I ain't saying let no woman take you to your resting place, but if you can push them away, please do so, because if you defend yourself these days, things always turn out even worse, and I'm pretty sure you can do without looking in them folks' face when y'all go down to the courthouse. Child, Black China, Black China, please put a lock on your vagina. Now, if it wasn't bad enough that Black China skipped out on her scheduled visitation with Baby Dream for some crazy rapper dude after she fell out with him on vacay in Hawaii, she turns right around and hangs out with the other young rapper, YNBA All-Stars to catch a dream on the star or whatever his name is child it's like haven't you learned your lesson by now baby child doesn't your tooth cat need a rest aren't the kardashians currently taking you to court every time you breathe hard because child y'all know chris got money and time so with all your thoughtlery and bad decisions i have to ask y'all dealing with the issue of black china hopping from man to man to man to man and sometimes a woman in between and man to man to man do y'all respect it or do y'all reject it now me myself and i i'm going to have to say i because at some point, I was under the impression that Black China was not actually with these men. I, for some reason, had convinced myself that she was actually getting paid just to hang out with him. But apparently, that ain't true. But that's just me, to be honest. But who are me to judge, child? Who are me to judge? Child, now I know y'all don't heard about this by now. Okay, so Tamar came out on Big Brother and said that she lets her son sleep in the bed with her and her new boo. Child, let me clutch my confusion and gather myself. Why, why, and why? If y'all watch any of my lives, y'all know how I feel about behavior like this when dealing with your children. And child, it seems to be the people who have claimed to have been abused as children that do the craziest stuff when it comes to their children. So child dealing with the issue of Tamar letting her little boy sleep in the bed with her and her new boo, I want y'all to tell me if y'all respect it or reject it. But y'all me myself and I, I'm gonna tell y'all that I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. I reject it. But again, who are me to judge child? Who are me to judge? Child, Wendy has now put off her return to her show for another few weeks and has invited Nick Cannon, Sherry Shepard, the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus to fill in for her while she gets herself together. Now y'all know when dealing with a hit show like this, you cannot take too much time away. But considering everything we've heard about her husband down in the streets, 
it does make a little bit more sense why she's taking such an extended break. Now, there are also pictures of Wendy going around on social media showing her down in Florida, which is where her parents are soon to live. So I gotta ask, is she down in Florida because she's taking a much needed break away from her husband and all of her problems? Or is she there to live permanently? Or are her advertisers pulling a stunt on us to collect as much coins as they can until we realize that she's not coming back? If she does return, is she gonna tell us what happened between her and her husband? And even if Wendy doesn't tell us what happened between her and her husband, is she planning on divorcing him? Because y'all know word on the screen is, Mm-mm, child, let me clutch a good divorce lawyer and gather myself. So, child, dealing with the issue of Wendy Williams instead of putting her return off and going down to Florida, do y'all respect it or do y'all reject it? Now, me, myself, and I, I'm going to have to say, with her instead of putting off her return, I'm going to have to respect it and reject it. Now, listen to me now. Now, the reason I'm going to respect her pushing her return back it's because it's obvious that she needs a break, a big break. Now, the reason I'm going to reject her pushing her return back is because the more she pushes it back, the more that it's likely that she's not going to return. And if y'all have an advanced degree in those astrology like I do myself, y'all already know that somebody definitely waiting on her downfall. But y'all dealing with the issue of her going down to Florida to try to get away from it all, I'm going to have to respect it. She's doing the right thing. Please get away from all those crazy folks trying to hurt you and spend up all your money. Mm-mm, child, now this one is gonna be short. Future was spotted hanging out with his OG baby mama, Brittany. Again, child, now this little joker had me fooled after Future publicly embarrassed her with Bow Wow's baby mama and asked her would she rather cry in the Bentley or the Nissan. She swore up and down she would never be with him again. I guess she chose the Bentley, child. I guess she chose but I got some questions. Child, why you treat me, Brittany? Why you had me out here believing you, Brittany? Why you had me out here taking up for you when people was calling you dumb about future, Brittany? Anyway, child, dealing with the issue of Brittany taking future back after he has embarrassed her on so many memorable occasions, do y'all respect it or reject it? Me, myself, and I are gonna have to say I reject it on a public figure level. But on a regular person level, I'm gonna have to respect it. People in the hood take their cheating baby daddies back every day, B, and she ain't no different, okay? Now, child, I was on the neighborhood talk, minding my business, being nosy, when I come across the fact that Cardi started following Ra Ali. Of course, that was strange, but if you have an advanced degree in those ratchetology like I do myself, then you would know not only was this strange, but it was about to get so what was weird was that people started coming at Ra Ali, even though Cardi was the one that followed her on Instagram. Mostly because it's a rumor that Nicki and Ra are no longer friends. So I Miller rocks on down in the comments to see what was going on. And I guess Ra Ali wanted to defend herself, so she posted this in the comments. She says, calling me names based off the actions of another person is quite odd, but I've given up expecting logical thinking from folks online. I'm not one to partake in addressing speculation, but to avoid any further discussion, I'll confirm. I've not been in any communication with Cardi. In fact, just recently, she demanded that Fashion Nova curve in my paid contract with them due to her affiliation but it's okay and we're all still focused on this side mm -mm, child let me clutch the pettiness and gather myself lord have mercy is this true did cardi really stop right ali's bag from fashion over child it has to be true because we all know cardi's comments child it has to be true because we all know cardi comments at any time her name is being called on social media and she ain't had now word to say not now mm -mm. Mm, but anyways, dealing with the issue of Cardi allegedly getting Ra Ali fired from Fashion Nova, I want y'all to tell me, do y'all respect it or do y'all reject it? Me, myself, and I are going to have to reject it. Now, Cardi is my best friend in my head and all, but I didn't like this. She complained about Nikki doing it to her, and she turned right around and did the same thing, allegedly, shaking my head. But who are me to judge, child? Who are me to judge? 
Y'all know this last one is a doozy, and that's why I waited so long to talk about it. But it is what it is. Life guru B. Smith is suffering from dementia, and her husband has decided to take care of her. Sweet, right? Wrong. Not only is he taking care of his sick wife, but he has also decided to get a girlfriend and move her into the home that he shares with his sick wife, who is suffering from dementia. Now I'll say that again, this man has decided to get a girlfriend and move her into the home that he shares with his sick wife, who by the way, is the person that made all the money to buy the house. And you know, we're gonna talk about it right now. He says that B. Smith is very sick and he should be allowed to live his life. And I totally agree. But why do you have to still live in the house with your sick wife and your new girlfriend? That seems so crazy to me. Now child, how do we know you and your little girlfriend ain't plotting on your wife? Where her kids at? Where her sisters at? Where is anybody at that would jump her in a regular situation? But child, I shouldn't say that, so scratch that. But anyways, baby child dealing with the issue of B. Smith's husband moving another woman into their home while she's suffering from dementia. Do y'all respect it or do y'all reject it? Well, me, myself, and I are gonna reject it. Reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it, reject it. It. Ain't no way in the year of our Lord 2019 anybody in my family would allow this to happen. Ain't no way, baby child. Ain't no way. Y'all know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? Moving on. Well, I'm definitely gonna need you guys' opinions in this situation because y'all know I don't get into other people's business like that. Well, we're about to be out of here, but before we go, we want you guys to leave us a like and remember to subscribe to our channel for the juiciest gossip commentary around. And don't be shy. Leave us your opinions in the comments. Good, bad, or indifferent, I love them all. And with that being said, you guys, we are out of here.